Hey baby dolls, it's Brie and welcome back to my channel. So you guys, today I am here with a family dollar haul. Y'all, before I get into everything that I got, I hope and I pray that this video, by the time you see it, is not doing the gangsta lean because it look a little off kilter, but sort of like all right. So I don't know. We'll see how it looks later. But y'all just know I tried. I definitely did try. Let me tell y'all something else too. This ain't got nothing to do with the haul, y'all. Why did I get stuck in the elevator the other day? Y'all, I was scared for my life. I was like, Lord, not like this. Not like this, guy. You know, but um, thankfully, it was another guy on the elevator. He definitely kept me very chill. Y'all, we pressed the doggone alarm, uh, like the panic button, I guess you would call it. And nobody ever answered. Then when we press it again, like, the thing just went busy on us. So I was like, not only is it just like a button that's supposed to help you, but nobody's answering. Then when we press it again, like, it goes busy. Like, nobody ever responded. So the guy, I guess, like, his instincts or something, like, his adrenaline or whatever, it kicked in. And he was just like, you know, like, pry the doors open, y'all. And I still had to go on with my day. I said, what kind of outlandish, bizarre, over-the-top type of stuff is this? Y'all, I'm telling you, the quirkiest stuff happens to me. <laughs> like, for real. It really does. But it's Wednesday. You know, y'all just keep pushing through. We only got Thursday and Friday left. Okay? And promise me that you will do something good for yourself this weekend. Let me know what you plan to do to pamper yourself, to honor yourself this weekend right let me know and maybe y'all inspire me because i don't know what i'm gonna do maybe i'll go back to the movies i don't know like i don't want to keep doing the same thing you know what i'm saying so we'll see but anyway this is a family dollar haul like i said before um some stuff i already had right um but then i went back like a couple other times and so this is pretty much just gonna be a mashup of the stuff I got, you know, cause I was like, I'm not about to do no 95 videos. You know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I will not be before you long. If you want a long drawn out video, go check out my empties video because I had about two plus months worth of stuff that I need to just show you that I had gotten through. So that video is about an hour or so. Yeah, it's almost an hour. So this one gonna be about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Because I ain't about to have this thing uploading for three plus hours. Like, it's just not about to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, uh, without further ado, let's get it. So, the first thing that I want to show you is this Olay Fresh Outlast Notes of Rose Water and Sweet Nectar Body Wash. You guys, this is so soft. It's so pretty. I love everything about this body wash. Um, I feel like it would pair fantastically well with my rose perfume, rose fine fragrance mist, and rose cream that I have in my collection. Either that or my rose water and ivy. Some people don't like it. I love it. I'm going to stick beside it because I love my florals. Okay. So that's one thing that I got. Oh, and another thing that I want to mention is I definitely earn points on like these Caress products and the Dove products that you will see here soon because I use my Fetch Rewards um, and, well not use my Fetch Rewards, but basically in there they were saying like, oh, if you buy Unilever products, then if you buy $20 worth of stuff at Family Dollar, then you'll get, you know, this amount of points. So I was definitely encouraged to buy um, these products, but I mean, really I was gonna get them anyway because these are brands that I have bought for years so it's a win-win anyway so the next thing that I want to show you I got two of them actually um, caress body washes in the scent Tahitian pomegranate and coconut milk so there's one okay look at that pretty beautiful color on the inside of the bottle this body wash is so pretty tropical hydrating and exfoliating Get your glow on with the sweet tropical scent and the gentle exfoliation of our Tahitian pomegranate and coconut milk body wash. It's like a vacation in a bottle. And truer words have never been spoken. This smells so good. I think it would go really well with, um, what's the one that I'm thinking about? It's in the red bottle. It's not mad about you. Is it mad about you? No, it ain't mad about you. 
I'll put it up on the screen somewhere, y'all. But I think that it will go really, really well with that one. So can't wait to use those up. That is not the bottle. That is actually the body wash. Isn't that pretty? That's so cute. This, again, is the Black Orchid and Patchouli Oil Body Wash. It says, take in the exotic fragrance of rare blossoms and envelop yourself in the lush lather of our Black Orchid and Patchouli Oil Body Wash. You guys, this one is more along the lines of like your dark berries, dark rose, you know what I mean? Um, not rose, but like dark floral type of scents. It almost puts you like in the mindset of like dark kiss or something like that. You know what I mean? Something very, very, very deep. So I really enjoy that. That's really pretty. Okay, so again, drop something. We ain't even but a few minutes in and I didn't drop it at the top of the table. I'm just going to get it when it's over, y'all. So the next thing that I want to show you is this Suave product. So this is a 15 ounce bottle. This was only like $2 or something, right? Maybe like $2.15 for this big bottle. This is in the scent Milk and Honey. So you guys, Milk and Honey is the type of scent that's very soft, but definitely one that would pair really well with like a ton of fragrances that I have in my collection. So I'm really happy to have this one again. I've purchased this before, but um, I think I had given it away to my little cousins um, when I shot my stash like a while back. But anyway, it says the, or this delectable scent is a velvety blend of pure vanilla bean and sweet honey cream. So you know what, if you don't wanna spend a ton of money on body wash, then definitely consider these types of body wash, especially like if you're starting out your collection, um, it's not the type of scent that's going to overpower all the other stuff you have. So that's just a pro tip. Like you can layer pretty much anything over the top of this and, you know, smell great. Um, it doesn't break the bank. Um, and the lather is really nice. Now, is it the best body wash out there? No, but I think people sleep on Suave. So considering how much it costs and the fragrance that it emits, I mean, I feel like you can't go wrong. So try it out if you haven't seen that one. Um, I also got this Sweet Pea and Violet body wash. It says fragrances as beautiful as Bath and Body Works. I don't know. I think that that's a reach. <laughs> but I think that is great considering the price point. It's a blend of crushed berries, Sweet Pea, and soft violet petals. So I've been noticing that not only do I like florals, but I really enjoy violet. So happy to have this in my collection. The next thing I wanna show you is this Dove Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash. Okay, we all know Dove. I mean, I don't need to take a ton of time on this one. This one just has a very fresh, um, yet soft and creamy type of scent to it. Um, it's a perfect blend of freshness meets that standard beauty cream or beauty bar type of smell. You guys, I also picked up some Maybelline Black is Black Volume Express Mega Plush Mascara. So although I have on falsies today, I don't always want to do falsies. Like sometimes I just want to add a little bit of definition to my eyelashes, which really aren't that short anyway, um, without doing too much. And so mascara is a great way to give me that extra va la boom again, without doing too much. Um, I also have recently been appreciating like clear mascara. So, I mean, that like kind of gives you like that separated look. It just makes you look more natural, right? So anyway, got this at Family Dollar. This was like maybe five bucks, so really inexpensive. The next thing that I wanna show you are um, some bar soaps that I got from Dove. They're all three packs. So the first scent is Shea Butter. So it has Shea Butter and Vanilla. I also picked up this antibacterial bar soap from Dove. So it says it's supposed to remove 99% of the germs present on your skin. So I actually have um, used the 
body wash and I loved it so I'm sure that this will be amazing as, as a matter of fact I probably have used this too but I don't get the bar soap at least in the antibacterial often so that's why I can't remember but I know for sure that I have used the um, body wash so I also picked up this gentle exfoliating bar soap so there's that you guys, I also picked up this facial cleansing bar. This is from the brand Ambi. So I've used Ambi like way back in the day, but it was actually like their foaming like uh, facial cleanser. So I'm hoping that this will do well for me. This is the Motion Sense Sexy Intrigue um, deodorant. So I love Degree. I actually for a while was buying like the spray deodorants from Dove and Degree, but I felt like my body just needed a rest. Like I just needed to give my pits a rest from that particular um, formula. And so I have been really appreciating like the solid antiperspirants nowadays. So it says superior motion activated 48 hour protection. So this smells really nice. So I also picked up some witch hazel solution it says skincare for face and body cleanser refresh this is from the brand modessa so this isn't the brand that i you know use all the time but i figure witch hazel is witch hazel and hopefully i don't have any issues but um i'll probably be using this primarily on my face as a toner okay you guys, I also picked up some washcloths, but I'm going to be honest, I have dug into these a little bit, but these are like the little cheapy cheapies, you know, the thin washcloths. They're only five bucks for 20 of them, and I get these because honestly, they do the job. These are 100% cotton terry washcloths, and um, you know, they definitely will make you feel clean for sure. But what I will, you know, kind of tell you is if you do pick these up, be more gentle using these in certain areas if you can pick up what I'm putting on here. Okay? Be careful. You don't want to be too rough in your intimate areas. Like, you, you don't have to do that. But when you want to make sure that you get all that body cream and, you know, all that oil and all that stuff that we put on our bodies off, like, you need something. Like, you cannot, I don't care what anybody says, you can't take your hand and go like this and feel like all that oil and stuff that you done put on is coming off. Because it's not. It's not. I'm just saying. But y'all already knew that because y'all watch this channel. So I'm sure most of the people would agree. Okay, y'all. So I got a ton of little press-on nails because one thing that I can say about Family Dollar is they normally have a really nice selection of like high fashion, like sort of on-trend press-ons. Like they're not like the weird, thin, old school looking press-ons. You know what I'm saying? They're actually very cute. So anyway... I got this box of 24 sculpted volume and shape neon nails. Look at that. Are they cute or are they cute? You guys see that? So loving that set. Oh, and one thing that I will say is make sure you guys, especially with these like press on nails and stuff, or just products in general, that your receipt says the right price because I had you know to like pull the manager's coattail at Family Dollar um this last go round and tell him hey like my receipt is reading like $7.85 for these nails but they're supposed to be three dollars at least that's what those stickers and the barcodes you know on the shelves say so I don't know what's going on I don't know if like the staff is just not syncing things properly or changing stuff out or whatever I don't know but it's like that receipt should not be charging me more than what that sign says and you know what matches with the barcode but anyway that's just a pro tip so anyway look at your receipts when y'all doing these hauls make sure they charge you the right stuff right price um anyway this is a set of fashion design nails um this pack also has 24 nails so these are extra long ones but these are like tie-dye oh my goodness i cannot wait to put these on and you guys i do have like 
makeup under my nails because I like do this with my eyeliner so my bad for like the darkness under my nail bed. These are some cute, super cute neon pink nails. I hope that they're showing up pink. They look sort of orange on screen, but these are definitely, or are they orange? They're sort of like in between. They're like orangey pink, if that makes sense. But they're looking, they look more orange on screen. Anyway, also got another set of nails, but this is from the brand LA Colors, right? So these have 24 too, and it comes with nail glue and a file. So, oh my God, look at these. That is so, so cute. So cute. So I cannot wait to like get my nails together and put those on. I think I showed you guys all the nails that I had. Did I show you these? Let me just make sure. I think I did. Some more nails from Kiss. So you guys, I picked up some toothpaste. This is from the brand Arm and Hammer. So this particular um, toothpaste is supposed to help you whiten your teeth. But to be honest, I rock with Arm and Hammer because they always have like baking soda and peroxide in their toothpaste. So those ingredients alone are, you know, just known to help you whiten your teeth anyway. So you can't go wrong with that brand. I also picked up uh, my beloved um, Palmer's Coconut Oil. This is a body oil. And you guys, I use this when I do my layering. This is like my 9,000th bottle of this stuff. Like that's just how good it is. And it's only like four or five dollars. So it definitely doesn't cost that much. And it provides 24 hour moisture. So winning. You guys, what else do I wanna show you? I think the last thing that I'm gonna show you is this. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. This big old box. I was about to wrap it up and had missed something. So um, I think I had explained to you guys before that I'm thinking of like doing like a like a big chop or whatever because I just want like a short haircut, right? So I think what I'm gonna do to like kind of kick off that whole thing is cut it, but like use some actual like clippers. These clippers were only 11 bucks. Um, but on my receipt, it said 13. So this was another item that I had to politely ask the manager to, you know, let's go back there. Let's walk back there together, sir. Because it ain't it ain't matching up. The barcodes was not barcoding, okay? But um, this is Quick Cut by Wall. It's a hair cutting kit. Um, just something that I can use to make sure that everything is like uniform or whatever. And then go get like a professional to go back in and do what they do. <laughs> you know so the last thing that I want to show you are these cute little teeny weeny teeny tiny little bitty short short body sprays this is from the brand body fantasy so we have a one ounce of their paradise fantasy so cute you can just pop them in your purse this is vanilla and then I have another vanilla right so a lot of people, come on and focus camera. So a lot of people, they sleep on body fantasies, but I don't know why, because they're super strong, they smell really nice, and they're cheap. All right, you guys, so that actually completes my haul. I hope that you have enjoyed everything that I showed you today. Thank you so much for tuning in, XO, and I will catch you next time. Bye, baby dolls.